маємо вагуме на рішення міжнародної юстиції. Today we have a significant decision of international justice in a case that has real prospects. The International Criminal Court has issued an arrest warrant for Putin. This is a historic decision that will lead to historic accountability. The head of a terrorist state and another Russian official have officially become suspects of a war crime in the deportation of Ukrainian children, the illegal displacement of thousands of our children to the territory of the terrorist state, to separate children from their families, to deprive them of any opportunity to contact their relatives, to hide children on the territory of Russia, to disperse them to remote regions. All this is obviously Russian state policy, state decisions, and state evil, which starts exactly with the top official of this state. I am grateful to the team of prosecutor Karim Khan and the International Criminal Court, to everyone in the world who helps us fight for justice. I am grateful for their integrity and willingness to bring those responsible to justice. Yesterday, on March 17th, the International Criminal Court also issued an arrest warrant for Maria Lvova Belova, Russia's Commissioner for Children's Rights, alleging Moscow's forcible deportation of Ukrainian children is a war crime. Russia has not concealed a program under which it has brought thousands of Ukrainian children to Russia, but presents it as a humanitarian campaign to protect orphans and children abandoned in the conflict zone. Earlier today, residents of Donetsk in the Russian-controlled part of Ukraine labeled the decision by the international criminal courts to issue an arrest warrant for Putin as nonsense and even predicted it would increase his popularity. Absolutely no one would dare to arrest him, that's what I think. No one would have the guts to arrest him. We will snatch him away from anyone. <laughs> he is a strong leader, he is a strong person. They are afraid of him. What they are now claiming, the Hague court and others, shows their fear of him. They are afraid of him, but he is not afraid of them. I think that Putin's a very smart leader, president. You know what they say, the dogs bark, but the caravan moves on. He goes forward and we support him. I think it will increase his ratings. Will it affect his career? Of course it will affect it. Most likely the world will simply understand that the Europeans and Americans have gone crazy and the courts are corrupt. People, presidents, will come to visit him. His prestige is very high, so the warrant will affect him, yes. They will start coming to bow before him. Time is changing. Russia is acquiring the status of a big power. Putin now has enough political weight not only in his own country but also in the Far East if we take into account the support of China and India. So I don't think he's under any kind of threat. U.S. President Joe Biden said yesterday that Putin has committed war crimes and the International Criminal Court's decision to issue an arrest warrant for him was justified. I think it's justified, but the question is not recognized internationally by us either, but I think it makes a very strong point. Moscow's forces have been accused of multiple abuses during Russia's year-old invasion of its neighbor Ukraine, included by a UN-mandated investigative body that this week described soldiers making children watch loved ones being raped. Putin, only the third serving president to have been issued an arrest warrant by the International Criminal Court, is unlikely to end up in court anytime soon. But the warrant means that he could be arrested and sent to The Hague if he travels to any International Criminal Court member states.